what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box okay let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guides can we see what is going on with the collective at this time spirit ancestors and guides what phase of love what phase of love is the collective in at this time spirit ancestors divorcee fairy tale romance you'll meet someone that is divorced and possibly has children you'll have to decide if they are worth pursuing wow and if you check out the reading i just did before that there is a situation with you know where somebody's married with children and the spirit didn't want somebody to get caught up in that situation okay i don't think it's the last one i think it might have been right before that okay but there's definitely a situation where somebody's divorced um somebody's telling you that they were married you know they have kids that situation is over with you know and it's almost like, okay, that's what most men say when they're married, right? It's like, yeah, I'm married, but we're separated. We have kids. We're not together. So this could have somebody questioning, okay, should I pursue this person? Um, it's almost like spirit wants you to get more information on if this person is really in a relationship or not. And here this card says, this romance will feel magical. It will be an exciting f uh, adventure and perhaps an happily ever after. So there's definitely a strong connection between you and this person. This is a magical connection. I feel like the two of you guys have fun together. You know, when it's good, it's good, right? But here comes the energy that I'm feeling where it's like this person could have lied or not been so honest about what was going on in their marriage, okay? So it's almost like this connection felt like it was a ro magical fairy tale romance. It feels amazing. You start falling in love with this person, but then you start finding out that maybe they weren't so honest about where their marriage was at, okay? Even if so, you know, there could be some kind of energy where this person that they are divorced with is going to make it difficult for this uh, relationship, okay? And it's almost like makes you wonder, is it even worth pursuing? You know, they have kids, they have this this life, right? Caged love. A love interest might be stifling your potential and cramping your lifestyle. There's no time for that. Okay, so it's almost like you guys have to, it's like when they started hiding, like, okay, say you guys were going to go to the convenience store, wherever, and they started acting like they couldn't be in public or they had to hide in certain places. So this is where that question came up, like, okay, is this person completely motherfucking lying? And it's almost like where I see this is stifling your potential and cramping your lifestyle. It's like you guys can't even go certain places because this person is worried about whoever this ex is, this person that they were married to, seeing you two, you know? And it's almost like, okay, whether they've moved on from this person or not, it has somebody questioning, like, okay, if you're truly done with that relationship, if that's truly over, why do you have to hide from this person? Why do you have to, like, we have, we got to watch where we go and worry about this person seeing if you guys truly aren't together. I feel like there is some kind of separation, but that makes somebody wonder like, okay, well, do you want to get back with this person? Is that why you're hiding it? Are you not truly moving on? Is there more to this situation than you're not telling me about? What's up? Yeah, see, this person is might live with this other person still. And so that could be the issue here. But they're telling you, like, they don't sleep in the same bed. They don't sleep around. You know, they have an open relationship. Um, and this is making this even more difficult because they live with this other person. 
And it's really hard for you to keep the love alive or to trust this person when they're living in this this other location with this person that they're supposedly divorced from or separated from, right? So it makes you also question, so not only do they hide the relationship and say that they're in an open relationship, they still live in that situation, but they're telling you that that's over with. So it has somebody wondering like, okay, is this truly over with? You still live there? You try to hide, you know, what's really going on? But it's like, even though there's all these other outwardly energies added to the mix here, that love is still there. There's still that powerful, strong connection, which makes it very difficult for you to just be like, you know what, fuck you, I'm done. I cannot make this shit up. Love triangle. You see how far that did? Getting caught up in a love triangle causes heartache. Don't wait around for them to pick you. Get yourself out. So I'm telling you, this person is still living with this other person. You are caught up in a three-way love affair. Caught up in the middle, in the middle of a two-way love affair. I'm trapped, trapped, caught up, caught up. So y'all can feel trapped and caught up in the middle of a two-way love affair. Mm. And spirit is wanting you to know that it's um this is going to cause you a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. And spirit is saying that it's probably not best for you to wait around for this person to pick you because they're still entwined in this marriage. They're still entwined in this relationship. They haven't moved out. They're not a mother they're trying to work it out over there. You know, he hasn't moved out or moved on. He's not taking you out in public and, you know, posting pictures of you on Facebook because he still has this other situation. And he's telling you, I'm going to leave it behind or I'm done with that. There's nothing even, okay, well, if there's nothing to that relationship, why do you still live together? Oh, for the kids or for that. These are excuses. These are lies. You know, this person is telling you what sounds good. Don't be naive or dumb to the bullshit. I know you love this person, but spirit is saying this is, this situation is going to cause you a lot of heartache. It's going to cause you a lot of pain. And Spirit says, don't wait around for this person to pick you. Like, what's best for you to do is get yourself out before you get too deeply entwined into this situation. Wow. See, but there's the problem. What you don't see, twin flame. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, you'll soon meet your twin flame. It may be filled with challenges until you merge and balance your energy. So whether this is your twin flame and spirit is telling you to move on and get yourself out of there so that you can soon meet your twin flame or that this is your twin flame, there's going to be a lot of challenges. There's going to be a lot of hard work. There's going to be a lot of back and forth until you guys merge together and your masculine and feminine energies are balanced. His masculine and feminine energies are balanced. And you guys can balance each other out here. Let's see, spirit. Puppet. Manipulate. See? This person is playing games with you. They're playing you like a fiddle. They're manipulating you. They're telling you what you want to hear. And I'm not saying that that's what you want to hear, but I'm just saying they're telling you what sounds good. They're making it sound really good. And they're playing you like a puppet. Like, you see how he got the little strings and he's making the little puppet dance, okay? This person is playing with you. They're not being honest about what's going on in their this other situation. I don't feel like this person has ever planned on leaving that other situation behind. Look, chaos and confusion. And and this is this person will tell you that it's chaotic in that other situation, that it's just too much, you know, like you just wouldn't understand, like I can't even explain, like you wouldn't believe it. And so they don't really go into detail about the situation, but there's really, they just tell you this shit to keep you confused and make you think that shit is horrible back at home, okay? I don't feel like it's as chaotic or crazy or 
bad as this person makes it out to be. I feel like this person just tells you that it's bad and, well, you wouldn't believe this so that you feel like, okay, this person's truly miserable there. You know, they just have kids, so they can't leave, so you understand. But that's where their that manipulation and them playing you uh, like a fiddle comes in. Authenticity instincts. So your instincts, your um intuition is to I feel like is already telling you that this person is not being authentic, that they're lying, that they're not being one hundred percent truthful about the situation. Okay. And I feel like that's a like, okay, if your intuition, if your conscience is telling you like, okay, this person isn't being honest. Like I know that they're hiding something else. Go with your instinct, go with your gut, because right here it says getting caught up in this love triangle is going to cause heartache. Don't wait around for them to pick you. Get yourself out. And intuitively, you know, they're full of shit. They're not being honest. They ain't telling you the real. So what do you need to do is to, to move away from that situation. Wistful time travel. Okay. It's almost like even if this is that twin flame energy, it's not the right time at all whatsoever. It's almost like you guys were supposed to meet at a different time in a different dimension and something got fucked up within the, the matrix. You know, things were supposed to be completely different when the two of you guys came together, but it's almost like you guys met pre this twin flame, this energy. It's like you guys met too early, prematurely. Like you guys weren't supposed to meet yet. This wasn't supposed to happen yet. This was supposed to happen either way earlier or way further down the road. But somehow there was some kind of glitch in the matrix and you guys came together and ended up meeting before your time. Which is going to cause this journey to be a lot harder and a lot longer. Okay. Yeah, see, this person's going through karma. They will be getting cast, getting cast, judgment cast on them um, for the lying, for the manipulating, for the going back and forth. You don't want to be caught up in their drama, okay? Definitely don't want to get caught up in their drama and their karmic. There's this push-pull dynamic here, and I feel like that's where it comes in with the arguing, with the going back and forth, because it's like they're telling you that they're, they don't want to be in that situation, that they're not happy here. You could be saying, well, you know, just leave it behind if you're not happy. You know, they're telling you that you're pushing them to do something that you don't want to do, and then it's just like this back and forth. Your intuition is telling you that this person is not being real with you, and they're not. See, sabotage, self-defeat. Yeah, I feel like this is you self-sabotaging, you know, taking shit for face value when intuitively and everything inside of you is telling you that you need to leave this situation alone, okay? Um, Pressure, emotions. So yeah, this person is in love with you. Their emotions are all over the place. They feel like you're pressuring them to leave this situation behind. And so this is really causing them to freak out. It's causing them to get in their feelings, you know. But I feel like you could be telling this person like, <clears throat> I'm not going to wait around forever. I feel like you could be lying, you know, that you're not being real to, to me. So I'm going to move forward. And they feel like you're just telling them this to try to pressure them into leaving that situation behind. But, I mean, it is putting the pressure on them. Because their emotions are running high. They're in love with you and they don't want to lose you. But damn, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. You cannot play with people's feelings and act like you're in love over here and act like you're in love over here. It, it just don't work like that, you know? So it's like if you are over here in this other situation, you need to work on that situation or leave it. Now, when you're done with that situation and you ain't living there and that's over with, come holler at me. Because what you're doing is you're accumulating karma too by being entwined and entangled in this entanglement, okay? I'm not judging. I don't give a fuck what nobody does. Hell, I don't give a damn. I understand that soulmates, what goes on in this 3D world has nothing to do with what our souls feel, okay? You can be married in this 3D world 
They're just their motherfucking wife in this lifetime. You've dealt with them for lifetime after lifetime. That wife means shit, okay? I'm just, okay, I'm not condoning behavior, but I'm just saying I don't judge. But the fact is you do accumulate karma if you don't stand in your empress energy and make this person do shit the right way. You know, shit, I love you. I want to fuck with you. But you know what? I'm going to let you go for now until you work that shit out and figure that shit out. Then you come holler at me. You see what I'm saying? That's how you start accumulating good shit in your life. All right. All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.